In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with your Universe Healthcare portal as an administrator of the system. Selfcare is the online management portal for your company's Universe communication system. Each user is sent their own username and password, and every company has at least one administrator. As an administrator, you'll have access to additional screens that your users cannot access. First, go to selfcare.thisisuniverse.io and log in with your user details. If you have administrative rights, you'll see the option to swap to administrator view in the drop down next to your name on the top right. Select this and you'll be presented with the administrator screen. I'm going to give you an overview of the main sections in the top menu bar and explain what key functions are carried out in these. You'll find more detailed videos in the resources section of our website. First, let's go to the My Company section. If I select my products, I can see the products that my company has purchased. Here I can see how many of each of the products has been assigned and how many of my company user licenses have been activated. By selecting numbers, you'll see this screen. If you use the drop down arrows here on the right, you can change the number belonging to a member of staff. If I set the show not assigned only button to on, I can find all my available numbers. I'm assigning this one to Tony. Subscriptions is where you allocate a subscription or a minute bundle to a user. Set the show not assigned only button to on and you'll see the subscriptions that your company has available. Again, use the drop down to assign it to your user. Phone book. This is where you can upload your company contacts in the format of an Excel spreadsheet. Your users can build their own phone books, but only administrators can modify company contacts. In the My Users section, you'll find all of the users on your company's Universe account. Here's where you can add, edit and delete a user. You can also select Switch to User and go into a user's individual settings to edit them from here. My Contact Centre. In this section, you can access your company's IVRs. The number of IVRs that you see listed here will depend on how many your company has purchased. To edit an IVR, simply select the Edit IVR button next to its name. The IVR editor window will then appear. At the top, you'll see a variety of modules with icons which are used for specific tasks, and I'll go into more details on these in a separate video. Recordings is where you listen to, download and delete any recordings of calls that have been made into one of your IVRs. Call Recording Call Recording Pro is purchased as an optional feature and is managed in the call recording section of the administrator portal. 
Here's where you can listen to, download and delete the recordings of the calls made to and from the users in your company. You can enable and disable company call recording in the company settings section. And if I select user settings, you can see that I can also enable and disable call recording for individual users in my company here. And finally, I'm going to show you the report section. If I go to usage, I can get statistics on both incoming and outgoing calls for an individual user in my company or for one of my IVRs. So I'm searching for calls to and from Tony within a specific time frame. And here you can see the usage for the parameters that I've entered. And I've got the option to download the usage report as a spreadsheet. The statistics section is where you can see the incoming and outgoing call statistics for a period that you specify for a particular agent group. You'll find detailed videos on the different sections within the Administrator Portal on the Resources page of our website, where you can also download a copy of the full Administrator Guide. Thank you for watching.